Welcome to you, Ark. We are here to pass on the knowledge that we have. Thank you for taking time out and being here today. So in this lesson, we will discuss the remaining principles of visual composition, which are balance, rhythm, and dominance. We will follow it with certain examples and certain important questions in the end. So let's uh, discuss balance. So balance in any composition, either a 2D or a 3D composition is nothing but the arrangement of design elements in such a way that it brings a sense of restfulness, stability or equilibrium. So let's take the case of a common weighing balance. So let's assume this is the weighing balance and if there is something on one side in order to counteract we provide the same weight on the other side. So this will create a balance. Whereas if something is higher on this side, the weight is higher, automatically it will create a sense of imbalance. Here we will be more. So taking the same example in the case of a composition, let's assume I am taking a field of view like this. And in this particular field, I am imagining an equilateral triangle. So, automatically you can see certain axes will automatically getting generated. And this is a stable composition or a balanced composition. Whereas in the same field, if I am drawing an isosceles triangle or a non-equilateral triangle, Again, we can see that some weight is higher on this particular side. So this is an imbalanced or a non-stable composition. So this is how we always define or see the example of balance. So a balanced composition will always be pleasing to the eye. So one important example of balance is nothing but the human face. So another thing is that whenever we discuss balance, we always define it with respect to an axis. Here there was an axis, here there was an axis. Right. So in the human face also we have an axis that is right through the center of the forehead. And so human forehead, human face is also a balanced composition. We have eyes on one side, eyebrows on one side, the nose and the mouth. Now let's discuss the types of balance. So basically there are two types of balance. One is symmetrical balance and the other is the asymmetrical balance. So I think symmetrical balance we would be able to understand because all this composition, this is an example of symmetrical balance. So by definition symmetrical balance means nothing that we will have an axis and forms will be evenly distributed on either side of it. Either it can be vertically or it can be horizontally. So it's like a mirror image. Now what is asymmetrical balance? So this is a little bit tricky. We have to pay a little bit attention here. In this case, the weight of the composition is not evenly distributed. Weight is not evenly distributed. But still, it will look visually balanced. So imagine I am taking a axis like this. Right. So if I have something on here, on this side, I am having something lesser, but the overall weight I am balancing it by providing something here. So as a whole, the composition looks balanced, although it is not a mirror image. So the basic idea is that an asymmetrical balance would not be 
visually symmetrical it won't be symmetrical but it will have the sense of visual balance visually as a composition it would look balanced but it will not be symmetrical so another example of asymmetrical balance imagine i have a field of view like this and i am taking a axis imagine and i am placing some kind of rectangle like this and in this case if how to make it an asymmetrical balance so i want to visually balance the entire composition but at the same time it, the composition should not be symmetric so i place somewhat to balance this whole composition i place some smaller rectangles on the opposite side so this creates again an asymmetrical balance so now let's look into the examples of balance try to identify the images and understand the concepts learned so next let's discuss rhythm so rhythm is nothing but by definition it's nothing but a repeated arrangement of entities or elements i repeat it's nothing but a repeated arrangement of entities or elements across a particular space either in a 2d or a 3 dimensional space either in their original form or in their modified form so let's take an example consider an entity like a square if i am repeating the square in a particular direction say i am repeating the square endlessly from this direction from this starting point this creates a rhythm so original form means all these are examples of original form i am not changing any of its orientation suppose i am changing slightly i am altering the axis of it so this creates a sense of movement in this particular direction so rhythm is nothing but a repeated arrangement of forms or entities across a space either in their original form or in their modified form so it is very easy to understand rhythm in our day to day life for example arrangement of trees across a road or arrangement of pillars in a particular building you can see in all these examples there is the rhythm rhythm has a direction so whenever a discussion on rhythm comes it is always associated with another element that is called repetition or in other words repetition of elements creates a sense of rhythm in a composition so it can be a square it can be a circle right now let's look into the examples of rhythm so note how the individual entities are repeated in a particular direction so as to create a sense of rhythm so now let's discuss dominance also called as emphasis so dominance or emphasis nothing but a certain aspect of the composition carries a higher visual weight so the key word here is visual weight so how to provide a higher visual weight it may be either in terms of their size or color or texture so whenever in a composition we have a dominating character or a dominating feature our eye immediately goes there so it is a eye catching feature of any composition so consider a field of view like this and if i'm having a rectangle imagine it is brightly colored and there is another rectangle 
on the foreground i mean the background which is like less lighter so automatically this particular rectangle dominates so it can either be in terms so this is in terms of their color or texture it can even be in terms of their size imagine i have a field of view and i have a larger rectangle here i mean a triangle and a somewhat a smaller triangle so in terms of size again it is dominating so dominance is sometimes whenever dominance discussion comes it is also associated with proportion or scale here the scale is what is dominating here the color or texture is what is dominating so in architecture maybe in a typical hindu temple architecture there is we know that there is always a gopuram followed by a mandapa and ultimately where the garbha griha or the deity is placed we can see that there will be a shikara in most of the hindu temples so this shikara has a dominating character or it is an example of dominance so now let's see a few images showing dominance we have come to the end of the video connect with us in youtube we keep uploading lots of mock test and other study materials in upcoming days so if you have any questions or doubt just pop them in the comment section below we will definitely reach you back so consider subscribing our channel so that you'll be notified when we upload the videos